Hi, my name is Steve Young and welcome to another video uh, where we aim to answer some of the more frequently asked questions that crop up during the training sessions. Uh, so today we're looking at what is back driving. To correctly test an IC in circuit, the device needs to be exercised in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendations. So we need to test all the inputs with signals applied at the correct voltage levels. And we need to monitor the outputs uh, to make sure that the highs and lows meet uh, the manufacturer's recommendations. So all of this information is available on the manufacturer's data sheet where they define um, all the voltages to power up the device and all the input and output logic levels. So what are we actually doing? So we, we have a device that has logic gates inside it and there is a corresponding truth table from the, the manufacturer um, telling you how that device should function. So we need to put signals into that device and we need to monitor the signals coming out of that device to make sure the, the device is functioning correctly. So the back driving comes in because it's us, the test engineer, forcing this logic pattern into the, the device under test, but at the same time overriding the static logic of any preceding device that is connected to it. If we were testing the device out of circuit, then this wouldn't apply. Uh, but as the device is in circuit, on a board, we have to assume that the, that device is connected to other devices somewhere on that circuit board. Um, and if these back driving voltages and signals are not controlled, um, then you could end up damaging bond wires or the output transistors of that device. So what are we looking at here? So we have a truth table and we're testing this logic gate under here and we need to put signals on the input pins and then we need to monitor those signals coming out on the output pins in, in this condition on the what the y pin but at the same time we're driving against the static signals on the device that is, is connected to it so protecting those device pins from any possible damage uh, def standard 0053 recommends that the time that this junction should spend in back drive should be limited to 25 milliseconds. Um, so this back drive condition also has an on-off ratio of one to 20, meaning for every 25 millisecond drive cycle, that junction will rest for 20 times longer. So that's about half a second. So our pinpoint, all of our pin drivers can generate signals up to 15 megahertz and up to 750 milliamps. And this speed allows for up to 375,000 vectors within that 25 millisecond back driving period. Uh, and this is enough vectors to test even the most complex of ICs. So that is back driving. Uh, I hope that answers your question. Uh, you can also look in test view. Test view help file will also give you ex examples of back driving and explain furthermore. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it answers your question. And goodbye.